all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest force of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Yeah, I know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now, let's rock. Listen, the Jets are a disgrace. The Jets are the worst franchise in the league. Let me tell you why. It's one thing to be a team like the Giants. And be trying to win, but you suck. It's one thing to be a team like Washington, who's trying to win, but you suck. It's one thing to be a team like the Atlanta Falcons or the Minnesota Vikings, who want to win, but they're just it's just not their year. It's a whole nother thing to be teams like the Jacksonville Jaguars and the New York Jets. Now here's the difference. I'm going to give the I'm going to give the 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 Jaguars a pass. The reason why I'm going to give the Jaguars a pass right now is just for the simple fact that Jalen Ramsey ain't worth a hundred million dollars. You can't blame them for not wanting to pay Jalen Ramsey. You only give a corner a hundred million dollars when you're a contending team. If this was a Jaguars of three seasons ago, then you give Ramsey a hundred million dollars. And then Jackway took less money to leave. So there was nothing they could do to keep him Jackway. So I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give the Jaguars a semi-pass. There's no excuse. There is zero excuses for the Jets. Let me tell you why. The Jaguars got rid of all their talent. You see, here's the difference. This is what y'all don't pay attention to. See, Big Fisk is here to tell you the truth. Here's why the Jets are the worst organization in the league. Because the, the, the Jaguars are getting rid of talent. They're deciding not to pay talent because they're trying to rebuild. I repeat, the Jaguars are trying to rebuild. The Jets been spending money for three fucking years. They've been out here spending money for three seasons and ain't done shit. That's why I'm disgusted in the Jets. Because the thing is, when you're the Jaguars and you're getting rid of talent, you're making it clear you're rebuilding. When you're the Jets and you go down and sign CJ Mosley, you sign that Tremaine Johnson corner a year before that, you sign Le'Veon Bell, you're trying to win. The Jets wanted to freaking win and they still suck. That's the difference. The Jets don't want to lose. The Jets don't want to stink. No, 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 no. The Jets stink because the Adam Gase is trash. The owner has no clue what he's doing. And Sam Darnold is being ruined. I don't even think Sam Darnold is a bad quarterback. I think he just went to the wrong team. Period. I see Sam Darnold make at least one play every Sunday that just says, okay, he belongs in the league. But no, you can't. Let this sink into you. Jets fans, listen to this video. Where's Robbie Anderson? Where's Robbie Anderson? Where is Leonard Williams? Where is Jamal Adams? Where is Le'Veon Bell? Where are they? All the all of the Jets talent, they're gone. They're gone. They're out the door. Robbie Anderson has been one of the five best receivers in the league this year. Leonard Williams has been one of the best run-stopping D linemen in the league this year. Jamal Adams is balling. In Seattle, Le'Veon Bell is going to go to a team like the Patriots and rush for like 900 yards over the next 10 weeks. You get what I'm saying? Adam Gase is a bum. The Jets organization is scum. For real, they're filth. They're discharge. Like, come on, man. It, it was so sad about the situation. Look at Ryan Tannehill. Look at Ryan Tannehill. Look at Devontae Parker. Look how much better they're playing when they got the hell away from Adam Gates. It's not even Jets players. It's Dolphin players. Dolphin players are so much better now that Adam Gates is gone. Ryan Tannehill just blew out the Buffalo Bills tonight. Devontae Parker's been balling for a year and a half now. King and Drake it looks pretty good in, in, in Arizona the past year. Hell, Jay Ajayi went to the Eagles and ran random, random to a Super Bowl. Whoever gets away from Adam Gase automatically gets a, 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 a freaking 
a freaking keep a key a, a key boost. Those of y'all who watch freaking Dragon Ball Z, they get a Zenkai boost the minute they freaking leave Adam Gates. Leaving Adam Gates is the equivalent of eating a sensu bean. For my Dragon Ball Z uh fans out there, leaving Adam Gates is literally the equivalent of eating a sensu bean at this point. The Jets are a joke, bro. Here's the thing. The Giants the Giants are trying to build a culture. The Giants are trying to do their best to win. And the Giants are building a foundation. The Giants go out and try every week. Nobody's breaking rakes in the Giants. None of the Giants players are calling out Joe Judge. None of the Giants players are blaming, going on social media, talk about disliking Giants photos and shit. We're not doing that. The Giants have a plan. The Giants are trying to build for the future. The Giants have a plan. The Jets don't have a plan. They don't. They don't have a plan. This team is a disgrace, bro. The, 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 the Jets are a disgrace. The Jets, I mean, I don't, can y'all make this make sense? Make it make sense. Look at Washington. Washington has a plan. Washington is trying to compete. I know they're the cockroaches and I get my jokes off on them, but you think Ron Rivera and, and, and Del Rio and them boys, you think they out there trying to lose? No, they're trying to win. Snyder wants to win. John Mara, Dave Gettleman, they want to win. I don't know what the hell the Jets want to do. You can't tell me they want to win. You can't tell me the Jets want to win when they let go of all their players. Let's be real here. The Jets, I'm going to name this list. I'm going to name these players one more time because I want to put it into context of what of, of, of how much talent Adam Gates let walk out the door. Leonard Williams, Jamal Adams, Robbie Anderson, Le'Veon Bell. You can't win in this league without talent, people. The Jets are garbage. The garbage. They're all the way trash. And what the saddest part is, people, and I saved the best part for last, and I'm going to end the video on this. The most disgusting part about the Jets is this. They're going to fire Adam Gase at the end of the year. They're letting go of Jamal Adams. They're letting go of Le'Veon Bell. All because they don't like Adam Gase, a guy they're going to fire in two months. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not a Jets fan, you need to thank God. Next time you want to, next time you, you ne right now, at the end of this video, I want you to get on your knees and thank whoever you pray to that you weren't a born into a Jets family. Because your life could be so much worse. Next time you're in a bad mood, next time you're feeling sad, next time you're depressed, next time you're angry because you lost the 2K in Madden, I want you to close your eyes, take a deep breath and say, thank God I'm not a Jets fan. That's it. That's all, people. I ain't got nothing else to say. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.